There's mainly three points of something on the Cessna 172. This is a Cessna 172M model. There's one on each fuel tank. So there's one on this side, one on the other side, that's two. And there's one more up front, but we'll go to that. So the ideal situation or the best time to sump fuel is the first before every flight, after fueling, or any time you feel like water or foreign object debris got into the fuel system. This we're just gonna get a good amount, maybe about an inch of fuel, and then we let it settle. The important thing here is that we're looking in the fuel for any debris or water. So this sump, you can see it's kind of clear. There's no debris floating around. There's no water. Let's show you what a bad fuel sump looks like. Okay, here we have a bad fuel sump. As you can see, this is water, this is fuel, this would not be good. If you, when you sump the tank, if you get this, you wanna dump this uh, sample out and keep sumping the, the fuel until there's no water. Go to the front of the plane and I'll show you one last area to sump. This is fuel sump at the front of the plane. It's actually the fuel strainer. It's the lowest part of the fuel system. And the way we sump that is we just pull on this lever back here, pull the knob, get, get a good amount of fuel in there. And as always, you definitely want to let it settle for a little bit. You don't want to just agitate it. You want to be able to look through the fuel and see if there's water or debris. As you can see with this one, we're good here.